guys! This is a really another little uh, birthday related video. Hopefully some of you, oh, let's try not to drop the camera. Hopefully some of you guys will have seen my, uh, what I got for my birthday video and now I'm doing a little bit of a birthday beauty haul because on my birthday I went out to Birmingham which is the nearest city to us and bought some pieces because as we all know I've been on a spending ban for two months and it's been driving me insane and I just, I just needed needed some new things. So I'm, I'm filming this in my Gryffindor top as well which I got for my birthday and I love him. It comes from Primark. But yes, so first up is I've got my hair stripper and with that some red hair dye because I'm basically gonna sort out my roots finally and do another layer of stripping on this so it goes a bit lighter um, because Eventually I'm hoping it's light enough for me to dye over and it to be quite nice and bright So and I have I haven't stripped it in a few months just because I wanted to give it a chance to kind of um, Like replenish itself and I didn't want to end up with masses and masses of split ends So alongside that for my hair I popped into Lush of course and picked up the I can never know I'm sorry if I pronounce this really badly but the H1 Wen Hua hair treatment and it is literally the best thing I could I ever buy for my hair that like I just can't even deal with how good it is it basically I can smell it on my hair for about three washes after I use it so I know it's really really sunk in deep and it just completely sorts out any kind of potential split ends that I've that could start growing and sorts out like it, it just completely nourishes my hair it's so soft afterwards and it smells so good so with that yeah with I'll talk about the rest of my lush stuff that I picked up I got the Oroma water which I've bought before but not in a while because it's coming into summer and I really really wanted a face spritz that would tone my face and just help me kind of cool down and I just yeah I just want to do it in the morning and the evening just before and after I get out of bed as a little kind of skin pep me up and then next I have bought Cup O Coffee which every blogger seems to talk about and I asked on Twitter the other day about uh, products that are good for stretch marks because I've got some really nasty ones that have just kind of grown on my leg and a lot of people actually recommended this so I'm going to give this a go and see if it helps out my stretch marks and if it does there'll be a post on it because I've tried bio oil in the past and it's really good, but I just I thought I wanted to try something new, um, something a bit kind of kinder for your skin, less chemically ridden. And finally, from Lush, if I can open it one-handed, is a bar form that I've been staring at on Instagram for a while because it's so pretty um, it's their lava lamp bath bomb and it's, it's, it's citrus scented and it smells so good I can't wait to use this in my bath I'm ready my sister picked me up some really nice bits uh, from Lush for my actual birthday as well I got the twilight bath bomb and the dragon's egg bath bomb which I've heard loads about and I'm very ready for that so yeah they're all pretty cute uh, I've picked up another couple of beauty bits this the lipstick that I'm wearing is one of them it's a Rimmel by Kate in shade 3 I believe I've got shade 8 and they're both just really really nice nudes I was basically I wanted a new nude for summer because I'm finding I'm kind of going off bold lipsticks a bit and I just only had one nude so I needed to pick a new one up. So yeah, in terms of beauty I picked up some more Nip and Fab products. I got this Kale Fix Clay Mask and I'm really really hoping that it actually helps my kind of dry skin because that, that, this is what this is targeted at even though it is a clay mask. So I'm going to, if this works basically there will be a blog post on it as well. And I'm going to be using it in conjunction with the Dragon's 
blood fix daily cleansing pads i've actually already tried these out um twice and they are amazing i've been in the evening i bought some um of the garnier micellar water as well because i haven't tried it yet and i've been taking my makeup off with my lush nine to five cleanser and then just doing a little bit of a touch up on making sure that all my makeup's gone with the micellar water and then using the dragon's blood cleansing pads and it's making such a difference to my skin. My skin, it, I wake up in the morning, it's hydrated, but it's not greasy and it's just sorted for the rest of the day. So I can't wait to see what a couple of weeks of using them together is going to do. So yeah, that's basically all of my little beauty birthday buys rampage. Um, I had such a great time on my birthday going around and picking up pieces that I've been lusting over for months and months whilst all the other bloggers ranted about it. So yeah, I'm really happy and I hope you guys are having a good week in the heat if you're in the UK and yeah, I will see you soon. So thank you for watching and if you really like this video then please give it a thumbs up or subscribe.